Milwaukee and Shorthorn exhibitors, our judges here, we're looking for our one entry in the winter heifer calf class. And please also start bringing your fall heifer calves to ringside. Winter heifer and fall heifer calves to ringside, please. Attention in the barn, we do have Kate Gully here, who is the Executive Secretary for the American Milking Shorthorn Society. And she is selling raffle tickets for the National Convention. They're $50 a piece. First prize is a $2,000 credit to the national sale, or $1,500 cash. Second prize is $500. Third prize is $250. And there are only 250 of these tickets being sold. So if you'd like to buy one, she's here at the announcer table today during the Milking Shorthorn Show. Now entering the ring to start our Milking Shorthorn show is our one entry in the Winter Heifer Calf Class. Our Winter Heifer Calf Class is sponsored by Morning Dew Farm and Vitel. Winning our winter heifer calf class is Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns with Cold Spring Fire Alarm. And here's our judge with her reasons. Well, good morning, everybody. As we start our Milking Shorthorn show, uh, they didn't want to stress me out too early here this morning. We just have our single entry December calf, but a really straight line calf. I love the hardness down that top line, and she walks out on such a beautiful set of feet and legs. Congratulations. Congratulations to Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns winning our winter heifer calf class with Cold Springs Fire Alarm. We're missing a couple fall heifer calves. Please bring them to ringside. They're going in the ring next.
Now entering the ring is our Fall Heifer Calf class. This class is sponsored by Holly Stevens and Echo Farm Pudding. We'd like to welcome our judge, Tammy Vagley, to the ring today. Tam Tammy is from Arlington, Wisconsin, and owns Vogrin Boarding. She specializes in caring for show heifers. Along with the boarding business, she is part of the day-to-day -day operations of Vogrin Swiss, her family's dairy farm. Over the recent years, Vogrin has earned numerous All-American and, and nomination accolades for their homebred animals as well as for their boarding clients. Tammy has judged many county, state, and regional shows in eight states. If she's not judging, she's probably exhibiting at one of the shows. 
You can find her show string at state shows and national shows with five breeds. Tammy has a son, Dakota, age eight, and he is already following the family tradition of wanting to be involved with the cattle, and this year will get to exhibit his own junior-owned animals. We're excited to have Tammy in the center of our ring today, judging our Milking Shorthorn show here at the Northeast All Breed Spring Show. Welcome, Tammy.
Our judge has made our first poll in the fall heifer calf class. We're looking for summer yearlings at ringside. Summer yearlings, please come to ringside. Our judges made our final selections in the fall heifer calf class. Please have summer yearlings at ringside. Summer yearlings should be at ringside. If our youth exhibitors could take two steps forward, please. Winning our fall heifer calf class is Amy Maxim with Aples and Waves Fantasy Rain. And here is our judge with her reasons. 
Well, what a great fall calf class here, deep from top to bottom. And the calf that I'm starting out with is a November heifer. And when she came into the ring, she just commanded my attention. I love how beautifully and straight line this heifer is. And she is so correct in so many parts. And that's what puts her up to the top of this class. Hardness down that top line, walks out on an exceptional set of feet and legs, and just so beautiful through that rump. She goes over my second place heifer that I feel makes a pair with her. Just a little nicer in the shoulder today, a little fuller in that crops, and just keeps herself in a stylish of lines all the way down the top as they move around the ring. Second over, third. My third place heifer is a little bit of a my problematic heifer in the class this morning. Uh, you do love her uh, size and scale and her length from end to end, but as she gets out on the move, she just kind of doesn't want to hold herself together uh, quite as nice through that front end. She's a little loose in the shoulder, and just as she tracks out, I'd like to see her just open up just a little bit more in that rib cage. But she uses that uh, more femininity right up through the head and neck to get over this young lady's calf and forth. Another calf and forth that I absolutely admire. This young lady does a great job showing her. You love the extension, the depth that she has through her midsection. And I like her out over that rump also. And that's what keeps her in the fourth spot. She uses that advantage of being just fuller through those crops over our fifth place heifer and just a bit naturally harder down that top line today. Fifth over six just has the advantage of more drop to her fore rib this morning. She's just deeper in that fore rib, a bit deeper in that rear flank today over a really nice, long, uh, clean-cut heifer following her. Congratulations to a great class. Congratulations to the winners in our fall heifer calf class. Now entering the ring are our summer yearlings sponsored by Mountain View Genetics and CB Elwell. Placings in our fall heifer calf class. Entry 573 from Amy Maxim was our class winner, Apples and Waves Fantasy Rain. Entry 754 from Jacob Fisher was seventh. Entry 755 from Callie Flanagan and Millie Prezenica was fourth and our first place junior. Entry 756 from Ella Field was tenth and third junior. Entry 758 from Ben Bemis was fifth. Entry 760 from Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns was sixth. Entry 762 from Rory Mayfielen was 11th and 4th junior. Entry 761 from Bartlett and Costca and Cold Spring Milking Shorthorns was eighth. Entry 763 from Layla, Brielle, Isabel, Audrey Clark, and Madeline Roberts was second. Entry 764 from Olivia Myers was ninth and second junior. And entry 765 from Peter Vale was third. Congratulations to all our winners in that class.
Our judge is making her first elections in our summer yearling heifer class. Spring yearling heifers should be at ringside. Spring yearling heifers, please come to ringside.
Youth exhibitors, please take two steps forward. Winning our summer yearling heifer class from Brook Clark and GMC Farm is GMC Ladies Ma'am Dedication. And here is our judge with her reasons. Well, another real quality class all the way from end to end in their summer yearlings. And not quite the easiest class to, to place out, but as they started to come together here, I feel very comfortable in our winner. She's a heifer for me that has the least amount of faults, and she has that style when she's out on the move and that ring presence, especially up through that front end. I love that long, clean head and neck on her. She's tight at the point of shoulder, full in that crops, and the extension she has in her body from end to end. Uh, she goes over our second place heifer, just because of that extension and a little bit more uphill run uh, through that front end today. Second and third, uh, we did a little bit of switching here in the line, but these two heifers I think fit together just a bit nicer. They're both angular kind of heifers. I do prefer how our second place heifer tracks on her front feet, uh, especially when you're looking at them walking uh, at you and just has a little bit more width right through that front end. Our third place heifer uh, fouls into that hole. I love the rear end of this heifer. She's so square, wide out through that rump structure. And for me, she is walking on the best set of rear feet and legs in the class today. But she uses that overall angularity, femininity, cleanliness of her head and neck to go over this high chine, beautiful uphill run heifer that I moved uh, down into fourth. Heifer that I think's got a lot of future ahead of her. Uh, just a matter of just need to take a, a, a little bit off that front end so she's not so heavy front ended. But you just love that uphill run door, that long clean uh, style that she gives you from end to end and right, clean right up through her pins. Um, but another heifer that uses that overall size and mass to get over our heifer that I moved up here that once she uh, stood in line, I really admire her feet and legs. She gets them underneath her thurls where she needs to be, walks out on them quite squarely. But she uses that overall strength through the front end to go over an, an August heifer that I really admire for her openness and springer rib. Uh, just need to give her a little bit more strength right up through them crop area. But again, a real deep class from end to end. Congratulations to all the exhibitors. Congratulations to the winners in our summer yearling heifer class. Now entering the ring are our spring yearling heifers. This class is sponsored by J. Lo Joe Milking Shorthorns and Fine Kind Genetics. Placings in our summer yearling heifer class, entry 766 from Ben Bemis was sixth, entry 767 from Ella Field was ninth and second junior, 769 from Dakota Phelan was eighth and first junior, 768 from Ben Bemis was seventh, 771 from Peter Kate was fifth. 772 from Peter Vale was third. Entry 773 from Brooke Clark and GMC Farm was our class winner. GMC Ladies Man Dedication. Entry 759 from Peter Vale was second. And entry 777 from Courtney Gould and Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns was fourth. Currently in the ring are our spring yearling heifers. Please bring your winter yearling heifers to ringside.
Attention in the barn, we have a few uh, announcements this morning for everybody. We'd like to remind everyone that Cosmo has been here all week and all of their results, the photos in the ring are posted online at Cosmo and on Facebook. So please go check those out. As you are leaving today, tomorrow, etc., please make sure you clean up, um, put trash in the bins as needed, and make sure your bedding packs are clean and just left with, with the bedding of the animals. This helps us keep down your expenses and your entry fees so we can keep having this show every year. For the Jersey exhibitors, tomorrow your show starts at 8 a.m. Your milk cows are at 11 a.m. We are hopefully planning for supreme champion of our heifer and cow shows around 2 p.m. tomorrow following the Jersey cows. We do have a, judging, a suggestion box here by the ring for judge suggestions for next year. Please feel free to drop those in for us to help us get judges here for next year. And also, uh, Kate Gully is here, our executive secretary for the American Milking Shorehorn Society. And she is selling raffle tickets. Um, they're available here. They're $50 a piece. And you can win uh, either a choice of cash or $2,000 at the sale. And there's three prizes of cash and only 250 tickets being sold.
Our judges made our first polls in the spring yearling heifer class. Please have your winter yearling heifers at ringside. Winter yearling heifers to ringside, please.
Youth exhibitors, please take two steps forward. Winning our spring yearling heifer class from Rydell Genetic, Genetics, Ryan and Marjorie Rida, is Henkesine Jr. size striking. And here is our judge with her reasons. Well, what a great class of yearlings here in our Milking Shorthorn show all the way down the line. Again, another class heifer is kind of in some different stages of their life right now. But uh, these three, four heifers that sort themselves to the top are uh, the kind of the stylish uh, angular heifers that I'm looking for. But this heifer, when she walks in the ring, she again, another heifer that just commands your eye appeal. She's got so much style, so much ring presence. You love that natural hardness down that top line. So clean and refined and feminine up through that head and neck. And she's just a bit stronger down that top line over this uh, end of April heifer coming out in second. A beautifully grown heifer here in second. Again, another heifer that you just love that midsection. You love the correctness out through her rump and how she um, handles herself on the move, but just gives up a little bit of that style and that natural hardness in that top line. Taking nothing away from our heifer here in third, uh, just a heifer you'll love the extension from end to end. She is a long train. And just when she gets out on the move, I would like to see her just a little stronger up through that front end, a little bit more width across that chest floor, and to hold her uh, shoulder just a bit nicer. But you can't take nothing away from, uh, from hooks to pins. She's flat, she's clean, she's dairy. Uh, and I do like the width that she has through her pins, and that's what puts her over this heifer here in fourth. 
Another beautiful run uphill kind of heifer once she got in line, uh, really kind of showed me that extra style across her top line. She's just longer from end end uh, than our heifer here in fifth. Uh, shows me a bit more depth of fore rib and drop to that rear rib today than our heifer in fifth. And fifth over six, it's closer for me, but I do like prefer the extension of heifer from end to end. She's got a little bit more daylight underneath her, just a little bit more length from nose to tail than this beautiful deep ribbed heifer coming out in sixth. This roan heifer, she's got that balance of strength, that width, and she still is dairy. I just like to give her a little bit more extension from hooks to pins and a little bit of more daylight underneath her to move her up in those top spots. But again, congratulations to all the exhibitors in this deep class of spring yearling milking shorthorns. Congratulations to the winners in our spring yearling heifer class. Now coming into the ring are the winter yearlings. This class is sponsored by Holly Stevens and Blue Seal and Kent Feeds. Placings in that phenomenal spring yearling heifer class. Entry 778 from Kaylin Noto was 13th and 9th junior. 780 from Jason Bagley was 5th and 2nd junior. 781 from Dakota Phelan was 14th and 10th junior. Entry 782 from Jonathan Bowles, Bridget and Andy Rida and Morning Dew Farm was 10th and 7th junior. 783 from Olivia Myers and Lucy Therrell was 12th and 8th junior. 784 from Emily and Randy Fisher was 3rd. Entry 785 from Morning Dew Farm was 11th. Entry 786 from Wyatt Chambers and Caroline Pressinger was 8th and 5th junior. Entry 789 was our class winner from Rydell Genetics, Ryan and Marjorie Rida, with Henkesine Jr., size striking. Entry 791 from Madison Wright was fourth, and that is our first place junior. Entry 790 from Caleb Kiever was ninth and sixth junior. Entry 787 from Layla, Brielle, Isabel, and Audrey Clark, and Madeline Roberts was seventh and fourth junior. And entry 792 from Sarah Hill was 6th and 3rd junior. Currently in the ring are our winter yearling heifers. We're looking for our fall yearlings not in milk at ringside. Fall yearlings not in milk, please come to ringside. Oh, sorry, winter yearlings. Winter yearlings. Yes, winter yearlings are in the ring. We're looking for the fall yearlings not in milk at ringside.
Our judge is making her first elections in the winter yearling class. Please have your fall yearlings at ringside. Fall yearlings at ringside, please. Our judge is making our final selections in the winter yearling heifer class. We're looking for fall yearlings at ringside. Please have your fall yearlings at ringside. Winning our winter yearling heifer class is Brady Livingston and Brian Chocoin with Have to Have Cyride Avril. And here is our judge with his, her reasons. For our winter yearlings, a pair of heifers that sort themselves the air to the other end. Uh, the heifer that wins for me today does it on her overall advantage of just more femininity and angularity throughout. She's just a bit more refined up through that front end, a bit cleaner in that head and neck for my liking, just a bit sharper at the shoulder, and especially right out to her hooks and pins. It's just cleaner and dairier for me. In addition, I do prefer when she's out on the move. I like how she steps down on that, uh, those rear feet, just steps a little bit stronger on those pasterns at times. Taking nothing away from this heifer here in second, you love the strength that this heifer has. Again, she has a bit more spring to her rib. I love the depth that she has. And she uses that overall strength, especially down her top line and in her midsection over this dairy heifer coming out here in third. Heifer in third, a beautiful, clean-cut kind of heifer. And she uses that overall angularity and extension, 
and sharpness of shoulder to go over here or heifer and forth. In addition, she has a bit less set to that hack. When she's out on the move, I prefer her rear legs over our heifer and forth. Again, another heifer that's got great strength all the way throughout. I love the width out to her rump. Just would try to change her rear legs just a bit to get her to move up in the class. Congratulations on a nice class of winter yearlings. Congratulations to the winners in our winter yearling heifer class. Now entering the ring are our fall yearlings not in milk. This class is sponsored by RVD, Carissa Livingston, and Morning Dew Farm. Palacings in our winter yearling heifer class. It's entry 793 from Brooke Bisbee was fourth and third junior. 795 from Taylor Buell was third. 796 was our class winner from Brady Livingston and Brian Chocoin. Have to have Cyride Avril, and that's also our first place junior. Entry 798 from Layla, Brielle, Isabel, and Audrey Clark was second and second junior. Currently in the ring are our fall yearling heifers. Please bring your uncalved junior two-year-olds to ringside. Uncalved junior twos to ringside. Following uncalved junior twos will be the youth show junior champion. Start bringing those first and second place youth show animals to ringside for junior champion. Carolyn Lawrence, we're missing your fall yearling heifer. Carolyn Lawrence, fall yearling heifer, should be in the ring.
Our judge has made our first polls for fall yearling heifer. Our uncav junior two should be at ringside. Uncav junior two should be at ringside. Winning our fall yearling heifer class is Peter Vale with Landsbrook K&H Chili Pepper. And here's our judge with her reasons. Well, what a really nice class of fall yearlings here uh, at your spring show. A, a, a class that uh, is hard to have yearling heifers in condition, but the heifer that wins this class, she's on the money today. You'll love the angularity, the style, the balance. Another heifer that just commands your attention as she parades around the ring on an incredible set of feet and legs. But I just love the overall, the balance all the way through, the tremendous depth that she has. She shows me a bit more hardness right through that loin over our heifer here in second. 
um, and just a bit more spring of rib all the way through uh, than our heifer in second. Second over third, I looked at them both ways. Um, I just felt more comfortable with our heifer here in second today. You get right in front of her, she shows me that femininity and that angularity to go along with my style of my first place heifer. Just a bit longer heifer from end to end. I will grant that my third place heifer has got tremendous balance of strength. She's got that width all the way through. She shows me more hardness through that top line, especially when they're out on the move. Um, but I just like to give her more extension from end to end, give her a bit, little bit more length to go with such tremendous depth in that midsection. But she uses that overall angularity and that sharpness at her shoulder to go over this big walk up hill front end heifer coming out and forth. In addition, she's a little bit more neater in that uh, pin setting. She's just a little bit lower in those pins over our heifer and fourth. But fourth over fifth, and the advantage of just being more heifer today. She's got so much more mass, so much more length, uh, and so much more hardness and correctness down through that top line, especially in the loin, than our heifer and fifth. Our heifer and fifth over heifer and sixth just gives me a little bit more drop to that rear rib, uh, just a little bit more correct, uh, right down through her legs, being a cleaner, flatter bone kind of heifer. But again, a tremendous class of fall yearlings for your Milking Shorthorn Show. Congratulations. Congratulations to the winners in our fall yearling heifer class. Now entering the ring are our uncapped junior two-year-olds. This class is sponsored by Echo Farm Pudding and Holly Stevens. Placings in our fall yearling heifer class. Entry 801 from Taylor Buell was sixth. Entry 802 from Jason Bagley was fifth and second place junior. Entry 803 from Peter Vale was our class winner, Landsbrook K&H Chili Pepper. Entry 804 from Brooke Clark and GMC Farm was second. Entry 806 from Sarah Hill was third and our first place junior. Entry 807 from Courtney Gould and Cold Spring Farms was fourth. Currently in the ring are the two entries in our uncapped junior two-year-old class. We are looking for, we're looking for all first and second place youth animals at ringside for junior champion. Following that, we'll be doing open show junior champion. Please start bringing those first and second place animals over as well. Our judges made our first polls for the Uncav Junior Twos. Your first and second place animals for Youth Show Junior Champion should be at ringside. First and second place animals for Youth Show Junior Champion should be at ringside.
Jonathan, come back to the ring, please. Winning our UNCAV Junior two-year-old heifer class is Abigail Bennett with GMC Bling Wing Wendy. And here is our judge with her reasons. Oh, we got two summer junior twos here um, in our unfresh junior two class. Our first place heifer due here in a couple months, but she just has that uh, high style dairy profile front end for me. Just cleaner at that shoulder, uh, sharper all the way down throughout um, over our second place heifer. I will give the advantage to our second place heifer. She is a much cleaner, flatter boned uh, right down through her hock region, just showing me less congestion in her hocks. Uh, but just would like to give her a little bit more style up through that front end and, and clean her up just a bit um, to go on to move her around our first place heifer. Congratulations. Congratulations to Abigail Bennett win winning our Uncap Junior two-year-old class with GMC Bling Wing Wendy, and that's also our first place junior. Second place and second junior to Jonathan Bowles in Morning Dew Farm with Morning Dew Al's Latte. Now entering the ring are our first and second place youth animals competing for Youth Show Junior Champion. This class is sponsored by Sybil Fisher Photography. Our Youth Show Junior Champion will receive a discount for a photo from Sybil. And as a reminder, everybody, make sure you go over and make your appointments with Sybil Fisher today to get photos of your animals while they're all dolled up here in their best. Our Reserve Junior Champion is sponsored by IDEX.
Well, we got a lot of spectators ringside. Uh, again, as I asked you to do yesterday for our Brown Swiss exhibitors, let's give a big warm congratulations to these juniors in our Milking Shorthorn Show. Again, another group, great group of kids that fought right up there at the top of their game with the, the open show exhibitors, and, and they gave them a, a run for their money in some of these classes. I pulled three heifers out and taking nothing away from our group that we excused to the side, but to let these three have a little limelight in the center of the ring. Our first place fall calf, uh, October calf, a tremendous balanced calf, well grown, I believe, for her age, a calf that shows me great uh, depth of rib and, and walks out on a great set of feet and legs. Our winter, first place winter yearling, another high style profile kind of heifer. You love when she gets out on the move. She's just got that extension that uh, walks out on, on feet and legs that I like, uh, but she's got that dairiness uh, that you want to see in a yearling heifer. And then we got that uh, fall yearling we just saw a few moments ago uh, in a tough fall yearling class. Another heifer, tremendous midsection. You love the depth of rib uh, in the style that she has all the way throughout from end to end. I'm going to go out and I'm going to congratulate these youngsters, uh, Junior Champion Reserve, an honorable mention in that order. And please, when I do, give them a big round of congratulations because they've done an excellent job this morning. This fall yearling, I had moved her around in that tough class, but she's a heifer. When you analyze her part for part out here, this is what the fall yearlings you like to see. She's got that strength. She's got that dariness all the way throughout. And she's going to calve here uh, in a few months, and she just walks out on a set of legs that I, I can uh, work with here today. But she goes over your reserve junior champion heifer here because of that midsection. Just so much more depth. Just a bit more openness, uh, especially the depth through that rear rib and that springer rib when you get right behind them. And taking nothing away from our honorable mention heifer here, she just needs time. These two yearlings are two beautiful heifers, just a bit more heifer, a bit nicer right up through the shoulder. And the young lady and I talked in class how we're going to fix that as the season goes on. But just a beautiful, balanced heifer that I think she's going to have a lot of fun with as the season goes on. So, again, congratulations to all of our winners. Congratulations to our youth show junior champions. Winning junior champion of the youth show is Sarah Hill with her fall yearling. Our reserve junior champion goes to Bradley Livingston with our winter yearling. And the honorable mention goes to the fall calf from C Callie Flanagan and Millie Prezenica. We'd also like to present a couple special awards. Winning our youth premier breeder of the Heifer Show, which is sponsored by Eastern States Exposition, is Jason Bagley. And then winning our youth premier exhibitor of the Heifer Show, which is sponsored by the Northeast All Breed Spring Show, is Sarah Hill. Congratulations, both of you.
Now entering the ring are our first and second place animals competing for Open Show Junior Champion. Our Open Show Junior Champion is sponsored by Agrimark. Our Reserve Junior Champion is sponsored by Holtz Nelson Dairy Consultants. Following junior champion will be junior best three. So please bring your, there's two entries for junior best three, if you could have them at ringside.
Hello, let's put our hands together for these open class contenders for your junior champion. Again, an incredible heifer show here this morning. Uh, I, I, you've probably heard it before from other judges, but I think this is the breed that has really come the furthest in the last five years. I know I've been involved with it in a very short time. Um, they get addicting. <laughs> the, the shorties are, they're fun. The breeders are an incredible group of people, uh, and it's just, it's a fun breed to be involved in, but they have really come a long way and have become very, very competitive against the other breeds, and I'd like to commend the breeders and the exhibitors for that. But uh, taking nothing away from the group, I excused uh, to the corner, but these are my four favorites, and like I said, what I feel is just a tremendous show. That first place fall calf, a November calf. Yeah, that's got, I think, a bright, bright future. She's just a high-profile kind of heifer in my mind. So straight, so stylish. Um, walks out on a great set of feet and legs. Our deepest class of the day, I pulled out both first and second spring yearlings. Uh, as first place heifer, another one commands your eyes when she walks into the ring. Uh, she's just got that beautiful head carriage style all over her. And again, another tremendous uh, foot and leg heifer um, and a beautiful rump. And that April heifer that followed suit, uh, I think I might have surprised the leadsman when I asked her to pull out because I was reading her face. But uh, this heifer looks better coming back in for junior champion in my mind. Um, I loved her in class, but she, she really, uh, sometimes heifers will do that for you, and I appreciate that. But just another heifer. Just got so much style, so much dariness, so much femininity. And then we come to that first place fall yearling. Fall yearlings are hard, but this heifer makes it look easy. I mean, another high profile, she, your eyes just draw to her. She carries her head beautifully. Beautiful front-ended heifer. Tremendous depth and openness of rib when you get right behind her into such an incredible rump structure. So again, four favorite heifers. I don't think any of them are going to fit in my suitcase, but uh, I do know of a truck that's going to be here tomorrow, so you never know what might happen. But I'm going to go out and congratulate your junior champion. Reserve, honorable mention, and high honorable mention in that order. And please show your appreciation for these exhibitors. That fall yearling, when she walked in, slam dunk. It's the easiest thing I could do yesterday and today. Okay, Faye was a close, a close second there. But what an honor to judge this heifer. This is a heifer that gives you goosebumps. She just puts it all together. Uh, but she uses that advantage just being a little bit more heifer right through that midsection today, bit more through that front end. The young lady here with the reserve junior champion, that's where I'd like to fault the heifer, and I think she can grow into it. She just needs to widen out right through that chest as she grows up to keep going along with that beautiful front end. And then for all the reasons we talked about in class, we're going to stick with that second place spring yearling for your honorable mention heifer. But just four beautiful heifers to represent your breed. Congratulations again. Congratulations to Peter Vale, winning our Open Show Junior Champion with his first place fall yearling. Winning our Reserve Junior Champion is Rydell Genetics, Ryan and Marjorie Ryda with their first place spring yearling. And the Honorable Mention Junior Champion goes to Brianna Laraway with her second place spring yearling. Congratulations. Can I have a representative from GMC Farm and Peter Vale to the ring? A representative from GMC Farm and a representative from Peter Vale to the ring, please.
In the ring is our junior best three class. This is sponsored by Gary Farm. In our junior best three class here, uh, two indiv individual groups, both really nice groups, and I, I commend the, the breeders of these six heifers. Um, to, to be a breeder of a group of heifers like this on either group is really an accomplishment, and I would like to give them um, my, my respects for that. First half group over the second group, just a little bit more of the uniformity, like right up through the front ends, a little bit stretchier kind of heifers uh, as a group as a whole, but taking nothing away from our second group here uh, with that, our, our fall yearling anchoring that group. Um, just in the, our younger two calves here, just like to change them right up through that front end just a little bit um, to get them in that first slot. But again, two very well-deserving groups to be out here. Congratulations. Winning our junior best three females class is Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns. Second place to Ben Bemis. Our premier breeder of the Heifer Show, which was sponsored by New England Milking Shorthorns, goes to GMC Farm. And our premier exhibitor of the Heifer Show, also sponsored by New England Milking Shorthorn Association, went to Peter Vale. Congratulations to all our winners this morning of our Heifer Show for Milking Shorthorns. Milk cows will start in five minutes at 10.15. When we, we'll start in five minutes with our junior two-year-old cow. There's only one in the class. Please start bringing your senior two-year-olds to ringside. Senior two-year-olds, please start bringing them to ringside.
It's now time to start our cow portion of the Milk and Shorthorn Show. We're starting with our junior two-year-old cow class, which is sponsored by Cold Spring Shorthorns and Pool and Grain. In the ring is our junior two-year-old cow class. We are looking for our senior two-year-olds to ringside, please. Senior two-year-old cows to ringside. Our judge has made her placing in our junior two-year-old cow class. Please have your senior two-year-olds at ringside. Senior two-year-old cows to ringside. Winning our junior two-year-old cow class is an entry from Peter Vale, Cold Springs STM Jaguar. And here is our judge with her reasons. Just our single entry junior two, a little over 30 days fresh here. And a heifer, you really have to admire the frame. Just an upstanding, long-bodied heifer for me. Uh, it's got that beautiful square dairy rump, and she moves out on a nice set of feet and legs. Shows a lot of bloom to that rear udder, and just being recently fresh just needs a little time. Uh, to get the, the quality work there through and, and everything, but she's got the right parts in her frame to get her into that spot today. Congratulations.
Now entering the ring is our senior two-year-old class, which is sponsored by Blue Seal and Kent Feeds and DFA. Winning the junior two-year-old cow class was Peter Vale with Cold Springs STM Jaguar. We'd like to thank sponsors for our show today. Our platinum sponsors are Farm Credit East, Eclipse Genetics, they sponsored our live stream, Transova Genetics, ST Genetics, Juniper Farms, and Fightback. Fightback is providing um, a bottle to each of our best uttered cows today. Eastern States Exposition is also one of our biggest sponsors. They are our biggest sponsor. And we'd like to thank them for their donation, which allows us to be here, and all the support they've given to our show with our, our youth activities and everything else. We would like to make um, invite everybody back from the Milking Shorthorn team for the Big E this fall. The National Junior Milking Shorthorn Show is on September 18th, and the National Milking Shorthorn Show is on September 19th. We'd love to see all these animals back here this fall. We'd also like to thank our gold sponsors of the show today, Big Boy Toys, Guardian Genetics, Durham Fair, and Sybil Fisher Photography. Please make sure you go over and make your appointment with Sybil to get your animal pictured today while they're all dressed up with their finest show clothes on. Our silver sponsors are Rhode Island Ayrshire Club and Mystic Cheese. We do appreciate all the sponsors of our show. It wouldn't be possible without them.
Our judge for the Milking Shorehorn Show today is Tammy Vagley. Tammy is from Arlington, Wisconsin and owns Vogren Boarding. She specializes in caring for show heifers. Along with the boarding business, she is part of the day-to-day -day operations of Vogren Swiss, her family's dairy farm. Over the recent years, Vogren has earned numerous All-American and nomination accolades for their homebred animals as well as their boarding clients. Tammy's judged many state, county, regional shows in eight states. If she's not judging, she's probably exhibiting at one of the shows. You can find her show string at state shows and national shows in five breeds. Tammy has a son, Dakota, age eight, and he is already following the family tradition of wanting to be involved with the cattle. And this year, we'll get to exhibit his own junior-owned animals. We're excited to have Tammy here in the center of a ring today to judge our milking shorthorn show. Welcome, Tammy. It's great to have you here. Attention in the barn, we have a black Dodge Ram that's blocking a camper that's trying to go home. So if you could please move your black Dodge Ram, it's a 2500 Massachusetts plates, 6MZ292, you are blocking a camper. A black Dodge Ram with Massachusetts plates, 6MZ292. Thank you. Our judge has made our first polls in the senior two-year-old cow class. Please start bringing your junior three-year-olds to ringside. Junior three-year-olds to ringside.
Youth exhibitors, please take two steps forward. Winning our senior two-year-old cow class is Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns with Cold Springs Premium Perry. And here is our judge with her reasons. Well, what a tremendous senior two-year-old class here in your Milking Shorthorn show. Uh, quality from end to end, but these first uh, three, four, five cows up here sort their way to, th to that end of the string today. But this cow that wins the class for me does it quite handily. She is my best uttered cow in the class, and for a lot of reasons, that's why she's in that first hole. You get behind them, she's got so much more height, width, and evidence of uh, crease from top to bottom in that rear udder today. I love the extension through that she has all the way through from the tip of her nose to the end of her tail here. Just a long, hard-topped, beautiful uphill run frame cow that does walk out on a great set of feet and legs. And she just uses that overall width and capacity to her rear udder to go over uh, and actually the next uh, three here are milking winter yearlings, um, heifers that, that just need a little bit more time to get into that first spot. But second, over third here, you get behind them, just shows me more height and more width to that rear end attachment, a bit more seam again from top to bottom. Shows me just a little bit more drop to that rear flank today um, and is longer and flatter out over those hooks and pins than our cow in here in third. Third over fourth, I gave her the advantage when she got moving out here, just a little bit more comfortable on her rear legs for me. She's a little bit more correct in that pastern, being steeper in that heel, uh, and just stronger in that pastern, particularly when she's out on the move. In addition, I prefer her teat placement on her quarters, especially those front teats. They're just tucked a little bit more uh, centrally on those four udders today. For, uh, fourth over fifth, an advantage and just strength of her attachment. She's just uh, higher and fuller at the top of that rear udder today um, than our cow here in fifth. Fifth, I would give you the advantage. She just shows me a bit more angularity, just more kind of a dairy clean bone cow over our heifer here in sixth and just has a more desirable uh, T placement again and a little bit more flex to that hock than uh, this beautiful framed heifer here in sixth. But again, a tremendous uh, class of senior two-year-olds with depth from top to bottom. Congratulations. Congratulations to the winners in our senior two-year-old cow class. Now entering the ring is our junior three-year-old cows. This class is sponsored by Prospect Valley Farm and Dairy One. Placings in that senior two-year-old cow class. Entry 813 from Krause Dairy LLC was third. 814 from Layla Clark and GMC Farm was fourth. Entry 815 from Layla Brielle Isabella and Aubrey Clark and Madeline Roberts was sixth and second junior. Entry 816 from Jason Bagley was second and first junior. Entry 817 from Peter Vale was fifth. Entry 818 from Wyatt Chambers was eighth and third junior. Entry 819 from Jacob Fisher is seventh. And entry 821 from Cold Springs Lucking Shorthorns was our class winner with Cold Springs Premium Perry. Now in the ring is our junior three-year-old cows. At ringside is our senior three-year-old cow. Following that will be our intermediate champion of the youth show and then our intermediate champion of the open show. Please start bringing those first and second place young cows back to ringside.
Our judge has made our placings in our junior three-year-old cow class. We are looking for our first and second place young cows at ringside for intermediate champion of our youth show. First and second place young cows for intermediate champion of the youth show. Winning our junior three-year-old cow class is Zachary Clark with GMC Zoo's Lemon. And here is our judge with her reasons. And our junior three-year-old class here, three very different cows um, to evaluate. But our first place cow gets an advantage of being the best udder in her class today. She's gets higher and fuller at the top of that rear udder attachment. She's more level across that udder floor uh, when you get view them here from the rear and from the side. And then she's just, uh, just more cow. She's got a beautiful frame, that uphill run. She's got more midsection for me. And I do like when she's out on the move, just a bit stronger in their pastern than our second place uh, cow here. Tremendous advantage, you love the style, the angularity, the clean cutness. I'll give her that credit all day long here. You love that femininity through her head and neck. Um, just, just not quite enough uh, correctness right through the udder to get her in that top spot. But she uses that advantage of being in bloom and milk over our third place cow here who is a dry cow and just has that all that angularity and style throughout and the bloom to her udder today to go over our beautiful rumped cow here in third. Congratulations. Congratulations to Zachary Clark winning our junior three-year-old cow class and he's also our first place junior with GMC Zoo's Lemon. Second place and second junior to Jason Bagley with Bagley Bog Triple Crown Freedom. And third place and third junior to Kaylin Noto with Mill Creek CS Comanche Lulu. Now entering the ring is the one entry in our senior three-year-old cow class. And this class is sponsored by Echo Farm Pudding and Farm Credit East. Winning our senior three-year-old class is Courtney Gould from Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns with Cold Springs RPZ Pretzel. And here is our judge with her reasons. Single entry in our senior three-year-old class, but a cow that has a lot of uh, great attributes. Fresh here, second time in March. Uh, I, do, I do appreciate her utter a lot of things. I love the height, the width, the capacity, the beautiful turn that she has to that rear udder attachment. Shows me great quality from front to rear. And then she's another cow that I really appreciate how she goes, moves out on those feet and legs. She's a clean, flat bone, dairy kind of cow. Congratulations. Congratulations to Courtney, Courtney Gould and Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns, winning our senior three year old cow class with Cold Springs RPZ Pretzel. Next in the ring will be intermediate champion of our youth show.
If we could have our youth show intermediate champion contestants entering the ring, please. Our youth show intermediate champion is sponsored by Brevent Seeds, and the reserve intermediate champion is sponsored by Big Boys Toys. Currently in the ring is our youth show intermediate champion. We are looking for the first and second place young cows at ringside for the open show intermediate champion. Please bring back those first and second place young cows for open show intermediate champion. Well, let's show our appreciation for our junior exhibitors here competing for intermediate champion of the junior show. We have our four cows back out here. 
our first and second place senior two-year-olds and then the first and second place uh, junior three-year-olds advantage here. They've all only had one calf. And when you start analyzing boom, part for part, a um, lot of things I like about these individuals, uh, it makes it a close placing for me. But uh, it is a cow show, and I feel that uh, your best uttered young cow in this, and out of these four cows is going to be your intermediate champion, and that's going to be this young man with the junior three-year-old. Congratulations. A cow that you start analyzing for part for part like we talked in class, you'll love the height, the width to that udder, and that's her advantage that she's going to use over your first place senior two-year-old here. A high profile, stylish young cow that I think's got a really bright future ahead of her, but she just doesn't quite have that fullness and height to that rear udder and just needs a little bit more time. Give her all the advantage in the world and angularity today. She is ready for the ring. She is clean cut and angular. And she uses that advantage of just being more level across the other floor. I'm going to come back to this uh, second prize junior three here to be your honorable mention intermediate champion of the juniors. Another heifer that's very stylish and angular in, in her lines uh, just gives up a little bit on the correctness of that other floor to get her up in a higher spot. But again, congratulations to all these kids. You're a uh, great sportsman in the ring and do an excellent job on the halter. Congratulations. Congratulations to Zachary Ch Clark, winning our Youth Show Intermediate Champion with his first place junior three-year-old. Our reserve intermediate champion to Jason Bagley with his first place senior two. And the honorable mention intermediate champion to Jason Bagley with his second place junior three. Congratulations. Now entering the ring will be our first and second place animals competing for the Open Show Intermediate Champion. Our Open Show Intermediate Champion is sponsored by AHV Animal Health and the reserve is sponsored by Echo Farm Pudding.
Well, let's show our appreciation for our open class Mount King Shorthorn exhibitors uh, competing for intermediate champion out here in the center of the ring. Again, a really uh, quality uh, young cow class is here. Um, might have not been the depth in numbers, but the quality sure uh, didn't, was not lacking at all. We got our first and second senior two-year-olds out here. Our first place senior two-year-old, a cow with that high, high style front end. She's long, clean, and dairy. Wears a beautiful udder and walks out on a, an exceptional set of feet and legs. A second place senior two we just talked about here in the junior show. A cow that I think has got a bright future. Another high style kind of cow. Beautiful rumped cow. Um, and it's got all the right parts in that udder. And then that first uh, place, ju first um, junior three, a cow, again, we talked about her udder, uh, the extension she has in her fore udder, and the height and the width that she has in her rear udder, and another cow that's got a lot of right parts about her. I'm going to go out and congratulate your intermediate reserve and honorable mention in that order, and please give the exhibitors a big round of applause. This first place senior two today is just ready to come to the ring. She's got that clean cutness all the way through. She's got the best udder for me out of these three cows. She's just got such a beautiful turn to that rear udder, uh, the correctness, the teat placement, veins all across that fore udder. And again, for me, just is, is ready and in the right condition. And that's the big advantage over our junior three. Uh, just shows me so much more style, so much more angularity, just so much more femininity about her head, neck, and front end. And then going, uh, honorable mention on that second place, junior two, uh, for all the reasons we talked about in the junior show, just a little bit more rear udder on our three-year-old and just a little bit more um, cow right there through the middle. But tremendous three cows to represent your young, portion, young cow portion of the shorty show. Congratulations. Congratulations to Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns winning our open show intermediate champion with their first place senior two-year-old. The reserve intermediate champion goes to Zachary Clark with his first place junior three. And the honorable mention intermediate champion to Jason Bagley with his second place senior two. Congratulations to all of our winners.
Now entering the ring is our four-year-old cow. This class is sponsored by Poolin Grain and Eclipse Genetics. In the ring is our four-year-old cow class. We're looking for our five-year-old cows to be at ringside. Five-year-old cows, please come to ringside. Winning our four-year-old cow class is Abigail Bennett with Glenmar Soldier Must Have. Our four-year-old here calves second time in March. A cow that she's got a, a lot of nice things about her also. She, I love the dairy run uphill and her framework and her front end. And she walks out on a correct set of feet and legs. She's got the height and width to her rear attachment and already shows me the quality of seam to her rear quarters. Congratulations to this young exhibitor. Winning our four-year-old cow class is Abigail Bennett with Glenmar Soldier Must Have. And she is also our first place junior. Now entering the ring are our five-year-old cows. This class is sponsored by C.B. Elwell and Brevent, Brevent Seeds. Currently in the ring are our five-year-old cows. We are looking for the six years and older cows to ringside. Six years and older cows to ringside.
Our judge is making her placings in the five-year-old cow class. We should have our six years and older cows at ringside. Six years and older cows at ringside. Following the six years and older cows will be senior champion of the youth show. So we're looking for the first and second place senior cows coming back for senior champion of the youth show. Following that will be grand champion of the youth show. So start thinking about bringing those junior and intermediate champions to ringside from the youth show. Winning our five-year-old cow class is Peter Vale with Elite HP Fancy Fire. And here is our judge with her reasons. Our five-year-old class here, uh, four calf five-year-olds, gonna win your class for me. On her advantage in Utter today, you get, I just prefer how her front teats are under the quarter, just a little bit more, a little more extension to that four Utter and levelness across that Utter floor when you view them from the side. And I do give her the advantage, too, when you get right up on them. She's just a little bit higher in that chine for me. Shows me more midsection being deeper in that foreign rear rib over a beautiful, stylish dairy cow. From end to end, our cow here in second just has that style and the angularity and clean cutness to go over our cow in third, in addition to just being snugger in those uh, four and the rear udder attachments today. Uh, I told the young man I really admire the length and the uh, width out through the rump of his cow. Just like to change her in that udder just a little bit for him to move her up. But congratulations to three nice five-year-olds. Congratulations to Peter Vale winning our five-year-old cow class with Elite HP Fancy Fire. Second place to Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns. And third and first place junior to Carson Bisbee. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is our six year and older cow class. This is sponsored by Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns and Mountain View Genetics.
Our judge is making our first polls in our six years and older cow class. Please make sure our animals are ringside for our youth show senior champion and then our junior and intermediate champions at ringside for our youth show grand champion. Winning our sixth year and older cow class is Doug Wary and Greg and Marsha Clark with GMC WV Princeton Skyway. And our age cow class here, a pair of cows uh, that you really appreciate. We have a six-year-old and a seven-year-old to, to win out this class. And I'm going with our six-year-old here with her advantage in utter today. I just am more comfortable with the levelness across that utter floor over our second place cow. And she just is a little bit uh, higher right at the top of that rear udder than our second place cow. In addition, she just is more on a mobility. She moves more freely around on her rear legs, more comfortable on those rear legs uh, than our cow here in second today. Taking nothing away from her, I love the ultra dairiness that she has, and she uses all of that femininity and angularity throughout to go over her cow here in third. She's just cleaner up through that front end. She's sharper from hooks to pins, and she's a longer rump, flatter rump kind of cow than our cow here in third. Third over fourth has the advantage in utter attachment. She's just a bit snugger in both fore and rear utter attachments, and I'd prefer her front teat placement uh, over our fourth place cow too. But another individual, you admire her for her strength, her mass, so much depth and, uh, of fore and, and rear rib, just a tremendous framed cow. Congratulations again to these exhibitors on a great age cow class. Congratulations to Doug Waring, Greg and Marsha Clark, winning our six years and older cow class with GMC WV Princeton Skyway. In second place goes to Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns, third to Greg Marsha and Brooke Clark and GMC Farm, and fourth to Carson Bisbee.
Now entering the ring will be our first and second place cows competing for Youth Show Senior Champion. In the ring are our youth competing for Youth Show Senior Champion. The junior and intermediate champion of the Youth Show should be at ringside. Well, we have our four-year-old and our five-year-old back out here to compete for senior champion of your juniors. And let's give them a real nice round of applause. They brought out two uh, nice representatives uh, for their junior show here. Just didn't have a lot of competition in the older cow classes. But they deserve a nice round of applause for all the work that they've put in. We're going to go with this four-year-old here that's calved two times, just recently fresh in March. Just shows me a little bit more correctness of our utter attachments over our reserve senior champion, which is going to be this first place five-year-old for this young man. Just has a little bit more youthful in their attachments, being fuller and tighter at the top of that rear udder. Uh, and just show me a little bit more angularity all the way throughout. But congratulations to both these junior exhibitors. Our senior champion of our youth show, which is sponsored by New England Milking Shorten Association, went to Abigail Bennett with her first place four-year-old cow. And our reserve ch senior champion, which is sponsored by Echo Farm Puddings, goes to Carson Bisbee with his five-year-old cow. Congratulations. Now in the ring, we will be doing youth show grand champion. Sarah Hill, we're looking for your junior champion. Sarah Hill, if you could bring back your junior champion, Milking Shorthorn. Jason Bagley, are you bringing back your reserve intermediate? Well, let's put our hands together for our junior show exhibitors one more time. These kids, again, have continuously done a great job out here in the ring. Um, they brought back, we have our senior champions we just named, our intermediate champion, and then our pair of heifers that we saw earlier this morning. Um, 
and taking nothing away from any of these youngsters, but we're gonna go with this intermediate champion here for your overall grand champion. A beautiful uttered cow that we have talked about already this morning a couple different times, uh, and just walks out on an incredible set of feet and legs. And as much as I really love my junior champion down there, I still appreciate a cow that can calve out more than once, and this cow's calved twice, and she's got a lot of dairiness to her, and the correctness, and this young lady is going to be reserved grand champion with her senior champion. And I am going to go down here and shake this young lady's hand one more time because she will be honorable mention grand champion of your junior milking shorthorn show. Congratulations. Jason Bagley, could you please come to the ring? Jason Bagley, would you please come to the ring? Congratulations to Zachary Clark, winning our Youth Show Grand Champion, which is sponsored by Bagley Bog Farm. He's winning with his first place junior three-year-old. Our reserve grand champion, which is sponsored by Vitel, was won by Abigail Bennett with her four-year-old cow. And the honorable mention grand champion goes to Sarah Hill with her first place fall yearling. Congratulations. Next in the ring will be our Open Show Senior Champion, which is followed by Open Show Grand. Please have your junior and intermediate champions at ringside. Now entering the ring are our first and second place cows competing for Open Show Senior Champion. 
Our senior champion is sponsored by Brevent Seeds, and our reserve senior champion is sponsored by Farm Credit East. Winning our youth premier breeder of the show and premier exhibitor of the show is Jason Bagley. Congratulations, Jason. The premier breeder of the youth show is sponsored by Farm Credit East and premier exhibitor for the youth show is sponsored by Big Boys Toys. Congratulations, Jason. Peter Vale and Rydell Genetics, if you could bring your junior champions to the ring for grand champion, thank you. Well, let's give our appreciation to our open class exhibitors out here for senior champion. I pulled out my pair of five-year-olds and then the first place age cow. Again, cows that have beautiful mammary systems. They're uh, high style front ends that I've talked about all day. Uh, they're angular, they're in their clean cut. Um, 
just tremendous individuals representing the breed and the, the breeders and the exhibitors should be very proud of them. Again, I will go out and shake senior champ, reserve, and honorable mention in that order, and please sh give them a round of applause when I do that. For senior champion, I chose to go with this five-year-old. For me, she's just the complete of balance for me. And she wins it also. I love the levelness of that outer floor and the correctness of her teat placement. Um, and just a little bit more extension to that four outer over our reserve champion cow. And it is a close decision for me for reserve. I do really admire that age cow for the number of calves that she's had, how gracefully she moves around that ring. She's just a bit steeper in that heel for me as she moves around the ring. And you get right behind her and she's got that tremendous width to the rear udder and still does hold that udder a fair amount there above the hock for the number of calves that she has. Taking nothing away from our beautiful honorable mention cow, another beautiful stylish cow. Love the capacity, love the bloom to that rear udder. Uh, just, she just, her time will come, but she uh, deserves to be out here today. So congratulations to all these exhibitors. Congratulations to our Open Show Senior Champion, which is being won by Peter Vale with his first place five-year-old cow. Our reserve senior champion is being won by Doug Wary and Greg and Marsha Clark with the first place six years and older cow. And the honorable mention senior champion to Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns with our second place five-year-old cow. Next in the ring will be Open Show Grand Champion. This is sponsored by the New England Milking Shorthorn Association. And Reserve Grand Champion is sponsored by CBLL. Well, as our final uh, contestants come into the line here, uh, I would just I'd like to take this moment again before I name your overall grand champion. Uh, again, it's been an honor and a privilege to be out here the last two days to evaluate uh, yesterday and then today. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, again, thank you to the committee and to the staff here in the ring. Uh, it's, it's finally nice to put some names with Facebook face or faces with Facebook names and and some friends that I only get to see once a year in October. Um, truly been an enjoyable experience and, and hats off to a well-run show. Again, uh, accolades out to the Milking Shorthorn uh, breeders, exhibitors, and enthusiasts. Uh, tremendous show we had today. Uh, old, older cows that come out and show that they can hang around and, and compete and do the job. Young cows that got a bright, bright future. And heifers that they're going to make some noise come fall. 
Uh, if Don't make me a liar on that, but I think we got uh, some pretty special heifers in here and, and still heifers in the barn that are that are going to make uh, the shorthorn breed be put in the spotlight. So congratulations to you all. And with that, I'll go out and shake uh, your hands at your grand reserve and your honorable mention. And when I do that, show your appreciation for these exhibitors and breeders. Your grand champion and reserve are going to stay on that pair of senior champions. I do like older cows that can come back calf after calf, and these two cows, they just look the part, and today's their day. Taking nothing away from that honorable mention on our intermediate, she's due back for the fall, and she could be a whole lot of fun. And as much as I love my junior champion down there, she's, her time will come. She, she's going to reign uh, ch junior champion of that heifer, the heifer show. But these three young cows... Uh, they're going to make other, other breed enthusiasts, I think, take notice to your breed. Congratulations again on a tremendous show. Attention in the barn. We do have raffle tickets here for the American Milk and Shorn Society. Kate Gully, our executive secretary, will be hanging out here at the announcer's booth. Um, after we wrap up the Milk and Shorn show, if you'd like to come get a raffle ticket, they are $50 each. And the first prize, the $2,000 credit at the national sale, or $1,500 cash. And the second prize is $500, and third is $250. If you'd like to come get one of these tickets, they're only selling 250 this year of them. Now in the ring is our senior best three. This is sponsored by Jay Karen. Winning our senior best three females is going to be Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns. Just one entry in our best three females here from this exhibitor, but three tremendous cows, and, and, and fortun, fortun, unfortunately, they don't have any competition, but they could stand a lot of it. Three beautiful rear-uttered cows, that ultra-style, ultra-dairy all the way through. Congratulations to this breeder and exhibitor. Hey, hold on, Bill Bartlett. We got, we got two more for you. 
<laughs> so, Craig, congratulations on your senior best three. Also winning premier breeder of the show and premier exhibitor of the show goes to Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns. Congratulations. Our premier breeder of the show is sponsored by Guardian Genetics, and the premier exhibitor is sponsored by Spine Gold Boarding. Again, Cold Springs Milking Shorthorns is winning both of those awards. Congratulations to all the winners in our Milking Shorthorn show today. We are looking forward to seeing all of you back here this fall for the Northeast National Junior Milking Shorthorn Show and the Northeast National Milking Shorthorn Show in September. Thank you all. We'll be back at 12.30 to start the Holstein Show. Attention Holstein exhibitors, this is your 30-minute warning. This is your start of your show. We'll be starting at 1230.